Didn't expect me back so soon, did you? Well, one of my viewers asked me how aqueducts work. And I answered truthfully in that I tried them when they originally came out, couldn't get them to work, and never tried again. Well, here we are several years later, and it appears they've a few things have been implemented. So the aqueduct is really just a V-shape of these bricks. This is a uh, pattern of aqueduct bricks. You go with the hammer. One there, one there, one there. That's all that matters. doesn't have to have anything underneath, whatever. What these do is when you give them some water, they proceed to make a whole bunch of source blocks and drown that fox to carry water to wherever it is you need it. I, I'm i fairly certain that soil hydration isn't quite implemented in the game. So, while it does look nice, its agricultural uses are limited. Also, while it's in the aqueduct, it doesn't count as moving water. So you're not using it to power anything. However, go here to the end. Where'd you go? There you are. Oop. What do you mean, can't place? You were there before. What's... I just had you working. It's in your way. If it's that, I'm going to be disappointed. Disappointment. What that's going to do... Come on, you had you working before. You got to go one more. I legitimately had you turning, you damn thing. Probably because I have any of this stuff in front of it. Because it wants to be flowing water, which is why a bunch of the stuff uh, doesn't work in a river anymore. It has to be, as far as I can tell, placed a couple in the river and nothing happened. Can we get you to flow? Come on, you ran once already. I seen it. Okay, now it's working. I'm not sure why. Look at like one of these two blocks. I took out one of those two blocks and it started working. I legitimately can't tell you why. Okay, come here. Pick you up. No, not. Got to pick up everything. Put you back. I'm going to sit here and be dumb, right? So I update you somehow. Your guess is as good as mine. The weird part is it's running against the current, but it's running. So if you're going to use these to bring water to where you needed power, it's certainly a way to do it. Now to get into real baker noodle territory. Oh, hang on. Before I get there. Same world. We're just uh, 300 meters away. All these nice tall mountain streams. Comes out. It uh, is contacting the hitbox of the water wheel. You notice it's still running the wrong way for the flow? Okay, whatever. It also does some weird stuff with creating us uh, trying to create source blocks under here. I think it's got something to do with the way the game handles the creation of source blocks. If I put this here, that stops. And that doesn't. I'm not hands off all the controls. It's still running. It will continue to do so until I update it again. <laughs> it, it will just it will 
continue to do so. So let's just let it go. It's going to do its thing. If you have to bring water down from somewhere to get a water wheel to work, then I guess that's a way to do it. That said, uh, windmills work anywhere outside. Uh, this... I guess what this would do is, were you so inclined, you could bring water down into a mine. You could bring water down into a mine to create, to have, a, have power to run stuff. So the next step is, yeah, this weirdness with uh, the way it handles source blocks. It's got something to do with it's the center, something to do with the center block. Like notice we've got, we've got flying source blocks now. If we update this, what happens? What do you see as a reason to be a source block? It's not these. That doesn't make you stop being a source block. I interrupt you with this, what happens? No, now you're just floating source blocks. Then we have to... We cannot manually delete. Yeah, so it's got to do with the way the game handles making these things. I was going to see if you could uh, have a one a one white drop come down. But you can still do that. Give me a sec. If I can get this to to angle over, it's not going to. It's gonna it's gonna keep being stupid because the game can't figure out the way it's coded. It it wants to keep making source blocks everywhere it touches one of these brick blocks. Right, so keep bringing this over. We should see increased weirdness from underneath. Maybe just when I turn the turn the water on. Okay. Got a drop. We pull this dirt block out over here. What happens? You go put up it up. Fall. So you can lose your mind. I don't know if that's creating source blocks. And fly mode, so it's getting really hard to do things. But it looks like we're getting source blocks, doesn't it? I against the wall. One second, I carve a bunch of stuff out. Okay, so science is messy, but we've done it. Drops down. We have source blocks. Theoretically, you could do a one wide hole all the way down to where your production was going to be, and then somehow use this to run uh, water wheels. I wouldn't have expected it to work that way. But this is eco, and it does strange things. It just does all kinds of strange things. So on with other strangeness. Let's see if I can get this to work again. So normally the game, if I shut this off, lose all the water. Right? Except... We kind of don't. Notice. You'll notice. This is still water. And on top of that being water, we can keep making more water. Which is a little kind of against physics, but uh, it's a video game. Get away with it. Now we've got that. 
the rest of my bricks. Got this to work. Got this to work once before. Building that. That's going to create source blocks. And if we do this. We should be able to create an isolated source block. I got this to work once already. I don't know how or why, just that I did. First thing involved was to fill this all in, it should kind of settle down. It doesn't want to, because right now it's trying to it's trying to have a slope. Right? You can see it's trying to slope, and it can't figure out what to do here at the end. Shut this off. I don't know where that one went. Shut you off. Figures itself out. And we now have a permanent water feature, where we did not have one before. Now, you also notice a bunch of this stuff turned into river rock. It's got to be with the way the game is coded to figure out, like, like flow and stuff like that. There, and it's already turning into it. So if we had, like that, that should turn into river rock if you just just because it's underwater. Kind of in the way desert sand turns back into... Or you dig up desert sand, it turns into dirt. You put it down, it turns back into desert sand. That should keep going. And then... Because the game now has to figure out how it's going to handle all these actual water blocks, Were you so inclined you can just make a river. And I, I love this modern machete. This is amazing. So we are slacking off there. So if I do this, 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 and that. I grab me some bricks. What happens? Come down here and we go aqueduct. Aqueduct, aqueduct, that should create a source block? No, it won't, because our actual source block is way over there. So it won't make one on its own without access to a real source block. Let's give it one. We need not enough space. Dirt everywhere. Go away. That bricks back down here. What's that going to do? That won't give us a source block. That's sandstone. No, what's that's just limestone. How far back do we have to go to get a source block out of this? Here. Hmm. Either way, now that we've got a, a permanent body of water here, it shouldn't be a big deal to fiddle with it the point where we can get water flowing out of it. Give brick 20. If I didn't know about creative mode, this, this would be a much harder series to do. That. Oh, no, we blocked it off. 
We're dumb. Uh, dang it, hang on. Okay. Got that going. And we have, it's not a source block, I can tell you that much. I bet you our source block is right here. What happens if I do that? Cut you off from the body of water. You stop. You'll fill back in again, but not really. This is some weird physics. Like we've managed to, we've managed to create a pond of source blocks. They might not all be, but they they count enough that we can move water again. Hmm. I'm going to call it there. We figured out how to move the water, how to use the water for power. And how to permanent wind up with water where there was no water before. Which in this game is a bit of a feat because there's no water buckets or nothing. Right? Like, it's not Minecraft. Look all those up, what happens? I bet you some of those are source blocks and some of them aren't. Either way. <laughs> We asked if I know how uh, how aque aqueducts work. I think I can safely say that I still don't goddamn know. <laughs> but either way, I'll see you in the future.